We have some dirty stripper chemicals to try and their foam cannon as well. The foam cannon easily attaches to any power washer. Just change the tip out. Super easy to put this foam cannon on. You pretty much just disconnect your normal pressure washer tip. Get this and insert it on. And that's it. Foam cannon is installed. You want to unscrew it. As well, there's a tube in there so it can use all the chemicals out of it. For this chemical, you need only to mix five ounces of this per bottle, which this bottle is a thousand milliliters. And so five ounces is roughly, it's a little under 150 milliliters. It's like 148 milliliters. So just put five ounces of this into here and then fill the bottle up and you're gonna coat the ATV or the side-by-side -side you have with the foam, okay? First things first is to start your pressure washer. Then you're going to attach it like so. On this foam cannon, you got some adjustability here. If you want more suds, you can turn it this way. If you want less, you can turn it that way. And then you have some adjustability on this as well. This is how this tip right here, that's how the foam comes out. If you wanted a wider pattern, you turn it. A smaller pattern you will do like that wide small all right you'll find out what works best for you because i've never used this so i got to figure out myself spray is pretty good you know i'm trying to get everything that i can reach they recommend that you allow this product to sit for one to three minutes before you spray it off. And again, here's the instructions if you'd like to pause and watch the video. Let it soak for one to three minutes for best results and use a soft bristle brush to agitate the area. And so it's been sitting about probably three minutes or so. And I'm gonna pressure wash it off and see what it looks like. the foaming ceramic polymer glaze again this is the same instructions four to six ounces of foam into your foam can fill it with water and spray your entire vehicle so it's pretty much mostly dry i'm gonna put this glaze on it there's a little bit of water beading already and we'll see how it looks and turns out this is after using the multi-surface cleaner from dirty stripper 
it actually was pretty good. It was nice to not have to spray awesome everywhere because I usually clean my ATV with awesome. It was nice not having to do that just using the foam cannon. And it comes out a little bit shinier than the awesome. I'll get you a close up. I mean, it's not absolutely super spotless because I've got to clean it down again. But it's a little bit shinier than the awesome. Again, it's not perfect. Again, I have a lot of scratches because I ride my four wheeler all the time. And now we are going to use the foaming ceramic polymer glaze to even shine it up even more. Same instructions, almost. This is four to six ounces. And again, we fill it up with a foam cannon and we're gonna spray it onto our quad. Again, here's the instructions if you wanna pause it and read it, check it out. I've already mixed it my foam cannon and my body first frame. So after we coat the entire vehicle, we're supposed to rinse it off and watch the water start beating immediately. So I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and then wash it off. This has been sitting for about a minute. I'm going to spray it off and see what it looks like. The plastic is already beating in the front, as you can tell. It's beating pretty well, as if it was coated with SC1. Um, don't mind that, that piece is sitting in the barn and got to put it on. I haven't sprayed the back yet. This is what it looks up close before spraying. So we're getting up close, you can see that it's already beating pretty good. This is no other treatment besides the Dirty Stripper products. It's beating pretty good. I haven't tried the tire shine yet. That's up next. But that's impressive. good folks and a lot of people were wonder why I care about the beating um when you ride the mud and the water if you have something a hydrophobic chemical the water and the mud is not going to stick to the plastic as well versus untreated plastics and so it's going to slide off because it can't attach as well as because the chemical that's hydrophobic repels the water and I mean this isn't I mean, this isn't a necessary thing, but if you like to have your stuff pretty clean, stay pretty clean, um, decrease cleanup time, this is pretty nice to have. So what does it look like dried? Well, here we go. It really cleaned these wheels. I had a problem with mud getting on the inside right here and drying and being hard to get off even with the pressure washer. It got it off pretty good. I got some tire shine on there, which... This shine is ridiculous. It's arguably one of the best shines that I've seen, especially with the fact that it's not sticky. I've seen some really good shines out there, but they're really sticky. This isn't sticky, this is very slick. The plastics were coated with the ceramic polymer glaze, which made them super shiny. That dirt just fell from up under the rack, but. Again, the rack looks great with the ceramic glaze right here as well. That tire shine is something serious. Normally these are pretty scratched up. <laughs> we'll go to the other side. I mean, look at it. You can see me in there almost. That multi-surface cleaner really got these wheels shined up pretty good. Well, cleaned up and then that tire shine really did its job. This is where, these are normally very, very scratched. This is pretty much where I ride when my waders hit and scratch this area a lot. 
This is where the ceramic foam really did a great job at covering their scratches. It making it look shiny, new, and black. Um, that's what it looks like. That tire shine is amazing. Definitely sold on these products. Um, not gonna lie, I was a little wary of it because, you know, it's just trying something new. But they really got something going on right here. And I wanted to make sure it was fully dry before I showed you all so some people wouldn't be like, oh, it's still wet, it's still dry. This is completely dry. This is actually a week of drying. This is as dry as it's gonna get. It's still super sleek. It's not sticky, which I've had some good tire shines, but they were very sticky. This is a great tire shine, especially for off-roaders. Or anyone who pretty much takes anything off-road. This multi-surface cleaner is amazing. I mean, look at that. I normally have a ton of dirt just sitting here. See, I got a little bit right there, but it wipes off. It's like I hit this with the pressure washer and try to clean as much as I can, but it still sticks. Um, it is. It did a great job. I mean, just great. That tire shine. Definitely gonna start buying this stuff. Definitely. It also cut my cleaning time down to half, which is great because I'm always short on time. Look at that. It's crazy. Look. Yeah, I don't know this piece is broken. Don't worry about it. I just gotta put it on. I mean, look at that shine. Almost showroom right there. Definitely not a baby four wheeler. Second time using dirty stripper chemicals and products. Let's see how it turns out. I was very impressed the first time. Cleaned up these wheels and tires. Excellent. The plastics would bead already. Let's see what it looks like. This stuff's no joke. Real deal right here, ladies and gentlemen. Especially with the foam cannon, cut my cleaning time down in half. I mean, I hate to clean personally because I'd rather be editing videos for you guys. But you know, I gotta clean afterwards, keep everything in touch, up to date, and in good shape. Definitely worth a try. This is after using the Dirty Stripper Chemicals. Very shiny, you didn't have to spray anything, I just used the foam cannon and it sprayed it all over the ATV. Pressure washed it off after I had let it sit. Looks great. Again, this was half the time because I normally I use a spray bottle and spray it down by hand. to give these products a try go to their facebook page dirty stripper chemicals the multi-surface cleaner is 10.99 which i highly recommend to everyone